go, Brandon. Hey guys, real quick video that I want to put out today. The House Committee on the Administration of Criminal Justice passed two pretty decent pro-gun bills in the state of Louisiana, one being constitutional carry, HB 37. It was introduced by Danny McCormick, uh, who resides up in North Louisiana. The bill, of course, is to reinstate our constitutional rights to carry firearms without having a permit in the state of Louisiana, whether it's open carry or concealed carry. Now, the bill was originally authored by Mr. McCormick from the age of 18 on up. Um, you know, sometimes people just have to get their digs in and try to do things that they can do. The, uh, there was a Democrat that is very anti-gun that tried to amend it, did amend it, or proposed an amendment, got it amended uh, to raise that age to 21. So instead of 18 years old, it would be 21 and older uh, with the ability to carry. Now, this person probably did this knowing full well that the governor is going to most likely veto this. Who knows what's going to happen after that? But nevertheless, we're getting this far. That's a good thing. So the amendment actually passed uh, by a vote of eight to five. And then the uh, bill actually, uh, final passes was 10 to three. This bill is scheduled for a vote tomorrow, Wednesday, April 20th. So We've got a, a link that we're going to post in the description down below. If you would, please go follow that link. A second bill, the Louisiana Firearm Protection Act, HB 43, which would make Louisiana a Second Amendment sanctuary state, prohibiting the state and any governing authorities within the state from enforcing or assisting in enforcing a federal act, regulation, executive order, etc. This is a beautiful bill. The only thing I don't like about this bill, and I'll have to go back and make sure that it was not amended. I don't think it was. The only thing I don't like about it is it's from now going forward. So any of the anti-gun unconstitutional bills that have already been passed or that might be in place in the state of Louisiana would still remain in place. It's for any new bills going forward or, or any new infringements going forward, I should say. So that's a beautiful thing right there. At least it's a step in the right direction. Maybe we can amend some of these bills, um, even the uh, concealed carry bill. If it's not exactly what we want, possibly we can re-amend it or amend it later on and get it kind of rewritten to allow for that age of 18 to be able to carry. But these are very important. Um, I would like to also point out that my friend, Senator Gary Carter, he's a senator now, not a, a representative. He once again floated his plagiarized bill of SB 327, which is a red flag gun law bill. I have challenged Gary Carter to a debate and he will not take me up on that. I told him I would go into his neighborhood, his own people. He could handpick the entire audience and we can debate why red flag gun laws are bad for the state and the country, and the guy won't, he's a coward. He won't take me up on it. But his bill failed miserably, uh, as it's going to continue to do. I don't know why he keeps floating this. I think maybe he's looking for a job in the Biden administration or somewhere else down the road to where he can actually say, look at the bills that I tried to promote. I was trying to do a good thing. So it's going to keep getting shot down. But nevertheless, he keeps putting it up there, and we keep slapping it back down again. So Gary Carter's a fail failure again. I do want to repeat once again, Constitutional Carry and Louisiana Firearms Protection Act are both scheduled to be voted on by the House tomorrow afternoon, April 20th. I'm going to look for the live stream to see if I can somehow or another either share it or share some of that dialogue later on in the day if possible. But if you would, again, especially if you're in the state of Louisiana, please look in the description below, click the link. And take a little bit of action. Uh, thanks again to Josh Barnhill, of course, uh, with Gun Owners of America in the state of Louisiana. And he's the one that put this alert together real fast on a draw. Josh did a wonderful job on that and created the alert and all the action that everybody can take. There's a preloaded letter in there. You can use that wording if you want, or you can amend the, the letter itself with your own wording and push that through. But nevertheless, Josh Barnhill with GOA was instrumental in making sure that this got out in a timely fashion, and I'm passing it on. Thanks again, Josh, for doing that. And thanks again, all of you guys that are helping us get these laws passed, these pro-Second Amendment laws in the state of Louisiana. We can do this, guys. Let's go, Brandon.